In this video, we'll cover a handy little block which gives you a metrics and tools database. We will talk about how to create and add new metrics into the database. We'll discuss how to link these metrics to objectives in any other databases you may have. We'll talk about how to view and roll up the total values for a given metric. And finally, we'll discuss how to update your tools database. stack you'll be familiar with this home dashboard view and we can navigate to the metrics page here we have a pre-built list of common metrics their data sources the objectives that are linked to this particular workspace a column for the total values and progress made towards these metrics and the type of metric that we have so if you are Unable to find the metric that you need for your particular business, let's discuss how to create a new metric and add it to the database. So let's say that we are a website designer and we wanted to add a metric which was maybe total websites built. And maybe this is gonna be useful for our portfolio or some objective that we have in terms of how many websites we're building per month. The data source for this website's built will obviously depend on your website builder, but let's say we wanted to get this information, we wanted to use Webflow and maybe Squarespace as uh, two data sources for keeping track of this. We wanted to link it to an objective. It's not gonna be in this database already, but we can also create a new objective uh, directly in this from this view so let's say we wanted to have 20 websites in our portfolio if we create it from this view it will send or it'll create an objective in the objectives database and it'll automatically link it to this new metric which is called websites built the totals right now it this is a roll-up value and so it's not actually going to be editable from this view We'll talk about how to edit this in the next step. And we can set the type as an action since this is something that we are going out or that we have full control over. So now if we're viewing this table, we'll notice this totals column, which is not an editable property from this view. So where is this information coming from? This is a roll up of the current values for our any objectives in this system. Now, if you don't have the objectives block, then you can link this up with your own database, however you're keeping track of this, or if it's not relevant for you, if you're not wanting to, to get these sum values, you can always just delete this totals column. But right now, for example, if we are to look at our monthly website visitors project, the current value for this is 500. And so this is going to roll up and show as the total value here. For other metrics, they may exist across multiple um, projects or objectives. And so if we were to have multiple sources that were contributing to this, if we had another tracker, another sp space where we were keeping track of the monthly traffic, this would be added to the total and we would see the sum value of any objective that lists this particular metric as its target. And finally, since every business is different and everyone is using their own particular tool stack, if you don't find the data source uh, that you need in this existing pre-built database, you can navigate from this metrics view directly to the tools database, and it'll give you a list of the existing tools that are pre-built into the system. You can also find this tools database at the bottom of the home dashboard under databases. If you wanted to add a new data source or tool, you can do so from the bottom of this page, give the name of the tool that you're using, a link if it's going to be helpful for you. You can also check different tools as in use or favorited. The favorited tools will show on your home dashboard since this is a filtered gallery which is only showing those favorited tools. 
And finally, you can give it a tag so that you can also sort through the relevant tools based on the, the business area that they belong to. So to recap, pre-built into many of the landmark blocks is a metrics and tools database. You can create new metrics from the database directly. You can link these to key objectives in related databases across your workspaces. And you can also add and update new tools if you need to add new data sources.